All right, NBA 30 teams, 30 minutes. We're going to do the NBA defending camps, the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, I don't even know what to see, where to start, where to begin. I mean, it's just this is a perfect offseason for them. Uh, LeBron signed his extension. Anthony Davis signed his extension. Uh, getting all the free agents that they got, they went. Kuzma got re up. Yeah. Uh, Kuzma re up. Yeah. Um, they went above and beyond what I thought they could get. I didn't think they could get a Danny Schroeder type player, uh, a Dennis Schroeder type player for Danny Green. Um, I didn't think they could get uh, Montrez Harrow. I didn't think that type of player was available to them uh, to sub out Dwight and JaVale and to bring in Marc Gasol is, I mean, it's, it's just stealing. It's just stealing on so many different levels on this team. And then the legend. We got basketball, we got basketball tonight. Yeah. Like and, and the, the move, <laughs> the move surrounding both teams, it differs this year compared to last year. Mm -hmm. Last year, the Clippers' team is that team. So the Lakers were the team that has to, like, try to pull themselves against the deep Clipper team. Mm -hmm. And they lost game one. So tonight is going to be a little different. <laughs> like, the Lakers are going to be that team. They expect it to be that team. And the Clippers are the team. No lie, bro. <laughs> you know, it's crazy about them a year ago. They, they're they better this year. <laughs> yeah, you, you see, the thing about that. The you think, I mean, we can talk about Clippers briefly. I think we did the Clippers already, but I think that them losing, and you, it's going to be impaired today, um, them losing the dive threat that is Harrell um, really hampers their bench, in particular Lou Williams. Um, I think Lou Williams, he works best when he's a pick-and-roll uh, maven and there's nobody really to run pick-and-roll with. Uh, that the, is bench, a really you know, the bench the bench going to have a totally new dynamic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everything's changed. Like, that bench used to, for a while, Paul George had that luxury to sit down, and they were going to get 40 from that bench. You know so, what I mean? Like, so that bench is about to push the league up. I think, I'm guessing uh, their starting lineup is going to be Beverly, Paul George, Kawhi, Marcus Moore, yeah. and yeah. uh Zubox. So, yeah, so... You see right there. Of, look, look, look at that lineup, man. Go go down the league. One through five. Look at that lineup. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, yeah. The true one potential of that lineup. I don't everybody on that lineup can guard. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the lineup because I've already told you, I think Marcus Morris, he he's only good if you give him the ball. Like he's not good. Yeah, I, as, I, think, as I, think he, I, I think he played well. Especially towards the end, like he started getting settled into his role, and and he and you know, a shot. He, that start lineup that we talked about not, that means that you're going to bring both Kennard and Lou Williams off the bench. That's just an overlapping skill. Ah, uh, it's not. Yeah, Lou got but the ball. I mean, let's get back. Let's get back to the Lakers. Uh, we, we could we could talk yeah. about the Clippers. We'll talk about the game tonight. But the Lakers. Um. I guess the biggest question is how much do you think LeBron and AD are going to play this season? Do you think they're going to? And, and, and the media is wrong about that every year. Every year I hear the same shit. And you know, this year, a thousand for LeBron. They're going to want to, like, be be careful with his minutes, and he's going to sit a lot. Like, no, yeah. bro, he's never done that. Ever. That's true. Ted's going to play. Yeah, he's going to play. Uh, I love yeah. his MVP odds, too, man. Yeah, sneaky yeah. MVP choice. He's a very sneaky MVP choice because if he puts the effort out, I think that they're going to have to give it the, the feels. Because now, now, now we're not even doing we're not even doing overwhelming stats like we did that last year, and the guy we did it for, he went home in a playoff in embarrassing fashion. So mm -hmm. the roster, they still are what? Every year they've been selecting the guy. Who's always falling short in the postseason? Mm -hmm. So I think this year they don't want to get it right. I think AB and LeBron both have a strong chance, like strong chance. How I do you can't wait, bro? 
Yeah, I can't wait. I think I can't AD. Wait. Like, like, yeah. like, where do you, where do you have AD? Let me ask you that. Like, like, cause I was asking both. I said, bro, could you realistically put AD below second place? As uh, second like, place, right like best player in the NBA. Yeah, right now, a Beach Report put him ninth. I don't know how you don't put him second. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna get on Clubhouse um, in 30 minutes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if anybody joins the chat room because I think, like I said, this is the most dis, uh, interesting discussion in the NBA. Uh, yeah, uh, Clubhouse, yeah. Man, that's crazy. Man, that's a low key. You get to talk to all the people you've been tweeting with. Like, it's crazy. It's dope. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. It's like not giving a nigga your phone number. You know, you still have that sense of privacy. Yeah, you can still have that sense of privacy, but you can still get on the line. Yeah, like I was going to get on and do it last night, but uh, uh, Roddy Rebel. You know, you know Kyrie, when they get put out, him and KD going to have one. <laughs> going throughout the whole game. Now, this is what we would have did right here, right here. Yeah. DC, no, no, I would have did this. Yeah. 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 Two, yeah. It's, it's nigga a, like, man, why y'all sitting at home, bro? Y'all would've got everything going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, AD, he definitely has a case to be this, you know, because there's no real weakness in his game. Um, the oh, only thing... Uh, Anthony, the zone. <laughs> like, it's so oh, funny to me. Yeah. When you need a basket, mm -hmm. you give it to this nigga like he's an ISO wing scorer. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anthony, he has... He has everything in his package. Mm -hmm. Like, if you turn around with Lakers fans, you complaining, like, man, you soft, nigga, get down low. Bang. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, <laughs> this nigga's the most gifted <laughs> player in the league. Yeah, he might be, the, yeah, he might be the most gifted offensive big that's ever played the game. What he likes, what he likes is just playmaking. But mm -hmm. if I have a playmaker already on my hand, there's no way I don't think Anthony Davis is second. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been thinking about it because I, I don't even know who I'm going to say when I get in the room. Like I told you, I think Embiid, if you're in shape and motivated, is probably second for me. But Nah, yeah, but I look think at his size, just the mobility. He can't, on a defensive end, he can't do what AD can do. <laughs> yeah, but his rim protection is is just the craziest thing in the NBA. And the, yeah, thing, well, with, the, the thing with Embiid is... When he's well, engaged, I get him in the perimeter. When he's engaged, get him on the perimeter? You see him do, nah, I've seen him defend on the perimeter. When he's engaged, he's doing anything. Look, Anthony Davis got dragged left and right on the perimeter, bro. And I so scored. And he's just giddy. I was like, damn, nigga. What a... But I saw his value in defense. Just the fact that he could be put on Jimmy Butler to kind of slow him down. That versatility defensively is insane, bro. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, he, they put him on Jimmy Butler. Um, yeah, and he and he gave Jimmy Butler a lot of problems. Um, I, I don't know this this Lakers team. You 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 move on and you talk about the difference that the impact that Marcus Saul is going to make taking the Dwight and the Javale minutes. That's another crazy. Hey, hey, hey. Just hey, just this, this, the twenty minutes he played his first three season game. Laker fans were all over Twitter the next two days. I literally seen every pass he made on the timeline like ten times. Like they're so amazing. I mean, <laughs> they're looking at Marcus Saul like, what the hell is this? Like, it's, they're running offense through the big. Yeah. And it's working. <laughs> like, we're getting easy shots out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's he's crazy. The ball. He's slinging the ball around Bro. crazy. Man, it's it's blessing. Give Gasol the ball is blessing. You know, Brian, you run a pick and roll, bang. Hit it with Gasol. I got that pop action right there. Gasol can get it. He can hold it. He can be waiting for a backdoor cut from AD. Boom. They got a lot of shit they can do now, bro. Yeah, they have a lot of things that they can do now. And then in addition to that, um uh the biggest one of the biggest storylines to me is uh this uh THT. Is this Horton Tucker? Is this a, is this real? Oh, you know, the, I told you what the what the fuck is this, man? Like yeah. this I say it all the time. Lakers scouting department. 
I don't care what sport you're talking about. They stand alone. Like, I'm real big into the off season, uh-huh. putting the team together. Like, I love that shit. I love the Raiders having to have a new coach. I love hiring him, having to learn a new defensive scheme, having to rank my prospect based on the, that prospect, the mm-hmm. prototype that this guy has used before in the past. Yeah. Like, that's just exciting. Mm-hmm. Bro, the Lakers, literally everyone they've, they've drafted the last five, six years, every pick has been paid, bro. Yeah, even, even, Thomas Isaac, Bryant. even Isaac. Thomas, you look at Thomas. Man, imagine a team with big. You got start Thomas Bryant. Or you got to go. And Thomas Bryant is a pick and pop. Big. Like, you he came into the league as an energy big. Uh-huh. You got Zubak. Now he's pick and popping. Shooting it at a high clip, high percentage. Yeah. They've, they've drafted well. They, they're, they're hoarding Zubac. I, I told you. He reminded me a little bit of Eric Gordon. Um, I saw, hey, I saw Chevy starting for Detroit. Oh, I saw uh, Sky, Bonga. Sky, I saw, you know, I saw Bonga starting <laughs> for Washington. Like, bro, they hit. <laughs> they hit. Even Mo, even Mo Wagner. Yeah. They took Mo Wagner in the first round last year. Undersized white big. No athleticism. Nigga can shoot. Yeah, he's a shooter. He's, he's I see like Jay with Mo Wagner getting 20 and 10. Yeah. I'm like, these niggas, bro. Yeah. So now we got THT. Oh, we got THT problem. And the only way, see, this is my issue with the Lakers. I love the lineup last year. I love LeBron at the one. Like, I love it. You know what I mean? So now we put LeBron. Oh, you taking them off the ball, take away an advantage I thought we had, which was soft. So you get Schroeder in there. <laughs> so Schroeder starting to open up minutes for THT to have a ball with the second unit. Yeah. That's that second what happens. Is gonna be, uh, that second unit is going to be what? Kuzma, THT, White Mamba, and Harold. Harold. Man, and Markeith. And Mark, yeah, and Markeith. I forgot all about Markeith. I mean, this team is stacked. Man. This team is stacked. That's, that, that's crazy. You, you, you get in the ball. Now you get, now it's the KT show. And he's leading that unit off the bench. Yeah. But I think KT Kuma, Kuma might have some things to say this season. I wouldn't be surprised if this is it. Man, I, I, I like, like, I think I'm the only Lakers fan I like Kuzma. I, it's because. just a make or break here for him. You know, we were talking in the group chat about uh, how hot he's I don't think, you know, I, I don't think it's a make or break here because I think he's settled into his role as like a player. Like, he is who he is. He's a I, think he wants to be, I think he wants to be more, and Laker fans yeah. want him to be more. Laker fans uh, want him to be a semi all star <laughs> young player of the future. And one thing. Yeah, about he ain't nice, people, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> he gonna have games where he scored thirty. Remember the game against the Clippers? Yeah, he got like twenty four in the second uh-huh. quarter. Yeah, and I'm talking about bro. Yeah, these, these is these is small fucking. That's a tough twenty four. Right? So, like he out yeah. there dragging the best of the best. Like Kuzma when Kuzma's on, I just special play with Kevin. Hey. You want that. You want players that the opposing team don't even have on a whiteboard winning you game. So now the Lakers, with slow, I can bring in Harold. Just for his energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You bring in Harold for energy. I have games where Schroeder leads us in score. 30 points, 8 assists, Schroeder. You're going to have the breakout cool game. We're going to have the THT game. You're going to have the White Mamba game. Have, I'm interested to see if the, the, the game. Caruso, yeah. I'm interested to see if he can, if there's another. Hey, community. and then second unit, my uh, backcourt is Caruso and THT. That's hard to, that's hard to get by, bro. Yeah. Second unit guard, you like, imagine being a Killian Hayes. You come into the league and the Lakers backup guard 
Uh, Caruso and Thornton. And 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 we and did all this, and and we forgot uh, uh, Wesley Matthews. Oh my God! <laughs> we did all this talking. We forgot about Wesley Matthews. And, and the reason why I love the Matthews edition is because Matthews has something that Danny Green don't have. Besides having more game, and the thing is, you don't need that much game to match Fox mm-hmm. on this team. Like what Danny Green did with him. Yeah. Space the floor. Occasionally put it on the ground. Mm-hmm. What Matthew has seasons of 19, 19, 18, mm-hmm. 18 points per game. Like he, he's a different type of player yeah. than, than Danny Green. And then the thing, too, about him is that's why I wanted to start LeBron with Green. I mean, with Wesley Matthews and KCP, right? Mm-hmm. I know that lineup with Gasol and Davis passing and LeBron's passing. Bro, KCP and what's not you? You know, you see so many wide open shots. <laughs> like, you, that you lineup know. has everything offense, defense. And what makes it perfect yeah. is last you, year, Lakers had you, trouble you. when they had to defend the bigger wings. Uh-huh. If you're preserving LeBron. And you didn't start with Kuzma. So a guy like Kawhi will feast on Danny Green and Kawhi. I mean, and uh, KCP. He will feast. Wes Matthews is better at guarding star wings than Danny Green. Like, Wes Matthews is a legitimate, it's like in a corner in football. You're number one corner, you good. And then it's the niggas that travel. And I'm going everywhere you go. They can't scheme you away from me, nigga. We match up zone. Everybody's zone. Me and you match up. They can't scheme me from you. So I think like that, that aspect of just Wesley Matthews being that dog. He's that guy on this team that's like, hey, Kawhi, it's me and you tonight, bro. Hey, Jimmy, it's me and you tonight. And he's giving you that effort. Like the opposing player on the other team knows, damn, I got West Matthews tonight. Yeah, he's be a harder. Like, the way that he defends. Like you can get off of 30. Mm-hmm. You can get off of 30. But you know, I got West Matthews tonight. It's going to look ugly. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot. Of, you know, he's physical. He's big. Yeah, he's physical. He's a, he, you know, he's he's built, you know, he's built like a tank. Him he and Jordan Tucker. And, he uh, got the size. Yeah, he yeah. got the size. So it's going to be so that's why yeah. I, and see, if we do it that way, the way I want to do it, and then you come off the bench, let Schroeder and Harold, let Schroeder and Harold and Kuzma run opposing teams off the court. Schroeder, Schroeder wants to start. You, know what? you see, the thing, the thing about it is, um, you know, it reminds me of the, the finals. We need to do it for because we need to do what's best for the team. They, yeah, they're going to do what's best for the team. Remember in the finals, they were doing that two-big lineup, and then when they needed it, they put – Yeah, but I felt, I felt – so Vogel was, was, was stubborn. He made some adjustments, but were late. Yeah, they were late. He could have done that. He could have done that. That's the value of Marquise Morris. Mm-hmm. Marquise Morris has. Yeah. You keep him under ice. Like, he's a player that can get his all off. And so, they got him for the minimum. And he shoots. And they got and him for the minimum. Yeah, and he gives you size. He gives you solid defense. He's a perfect player. Yeah. For the role they have in him. And this is the thing. The opposing team was smaller. But we want to still keep our identity to have that size matchup advantage. Yeah. So we go with Mark Marquise. We still have the size. So we keep we keep our size and now we we we've expanded our offense. Mm-hmm. Like it's just too much. <laughs> you yeah, know? This team is stacked. I I just don't see uh, currently as currently constructed. I don't see. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just rotations. Like Vogel got to be real. He's got to keep just doing weird shit all year. You know, you know the th- the thing about it is uh, another thing to watch out for is that a lot of these players are older players. Wesley Matthews is thirty four. Um, Gasol yeah. is so, in age. So so, so instead of yeah twenty five thirty minutes for West. 20. 20, yeah. So, so they're five be, minutes. Um, there, there's enough minutes for – I'm sure that they'll give a couple of these guys nights off to let you know, let a young guy eat this week. But look, um, Anthony, 
So that five that I want, you 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 can't beat that five in the league today. I think that that, that five, five is play a lot of series. I think that five is going to start and play major minutes in a lot of series. That five, bro. Sorry. That five. That five is so crazy good. Yeah. Like, nigga, no weakness, offense, defense. Like, mm-hmm. you got Marcus Saul, he's an elite. That's just the thing, Anthony. Marcus Saul is not a good defender. He's an elite defender. So you got him with AD, LeBron. Like, I think LeBron's shot blocking going to go up to this year. So I think he knows that, okay, Gasol, Gasol going to help lead the defender into taking a shot if he's going to make a block. Like the saw's gonna help out. Mm-hmm. Off the bench to go Schroeder, Carroll. That's true. Your one-two punch, pick and roll. That's forty a game. And and, Those and two one, leagues, one thing that I really, I really like and enjoy about this team is that you saw in the finals. It's all about having that. Uh, how many bench players do you have that can give you a twenty-point game in the finals? And like the way that uh, uh, KCP did. And now they got – they have so many of them now. Um, this team is just deep, uh, used to playing together, a lot of veterans. So, you're not, you know, there's not going to be the ego and people fighting for shots. Um, I mean, I just don't see any way right now, less bar an injury, that they don't win the title. Um, who do you have as the most impactful player for their season? Man. Shit, most impactful is LeBron. Uh, he, 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 I, I'm not sure I'm going to go Davis. So I'm going to go this is the year that Davis I start that two way dominance. Like, I think the narrative around Davis changes this season. Like, I think everything about him changes. Like, everybody talk about him as this great elite top 10 player. That's the conversation. The conversation with Davis is about to get stupid. You want to be like, hey, LeBron, KD, Curry, stupid. It's stupid. It's coming. Mm-hmm. He's he's about to kill it. He's he's about to kill it. Like it, it don't even make you saw he did the other night, Anthony. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no, nah, I, I I I definitely I would have to agree that I think LeBron so LeBron so smart. I think in his old age was still able to identify okay, this is the nigga that's gonna make it go for the next ten years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like all he needs is a dominant a lead guard that's good. Like, that's all he needs. That's and the crazy. Thing, and the thing is, it's so interesting, you know, you said it because, you know, the Lakers, they were rumored around so many other players, you know, Paul George, Kawhi. But this is the one that they broke everything to get. And, you know, it's just like that, that saying that he had – uh, midway during the season when AD had that monster game, he was like, do you think we traded too much for him now? <laughs> you know. Because, uh, hey, you know, it's basketball. So, with basketball, one player's impact is just crazy. Yeah. It's like it's like a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Offense and defense. And all those players so, that the uh, Lakers traded, they were good. They're good players. You know, Hart, oh, Ball, and – I mean, Josh Hart is going to get a good contract. Yeah, a very, very valuable play in this league. Like, yeah, there's a the good player, but you can't. You the know. idea, the idea of Hart, uh-huh. and what he actually is, ain't, ain't, ain't all there. But bro, he's what he is on the surface. Yeah, he's it's just he's got a high clip. He's gonna play his ass off. Yeah, it's just that he's NBA maximum, like you know, four four <laughs> is gonna get you a dollar. <laughs> I've seen Josh Hart have consecutive 20 and 10 games. Bro. Like, yeah. like this mess with Josh Hart. All right, who's your, who's, your, who's your most intriguing player for the Lakers? I would have to go, I mean, I think it's the easiest, THT. We'll see if the if, if the myth is real, if the legend is real. See, I'm, I'm, I'm on Kuzma. Kuzma, I think, I think Kuzma, I keep telling everybody, Kuzma went to the offseason. Knowing his role, so he worked out for that. I think Kuzma's a hard worker. I think Kuzma, Kuzma got the stigma of being light skinned <laughs> so no one are like they don't anticipate that hard work. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah, no, I feel you. Kuzma, Kuzma, somebody, bro. <laughs> the stigma. <laughs> I think now they know the role. Like, hey, big wings. 
<laughs> Big Wayne, go out there, catch and shoot, catch and shoot on the move, catch and shoot, cut. Like playing with Marcus Frost. Oh yeah, Kush. Kush was gonna be one of the better bench players in this league. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. Just watch. Okay, so uh, postseason, I mean, I think we both said that we both liked him to win the title. Um, I don't really see anybody oh, yeah. touching him. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, I think it's Hey, hey no, but show me the lineup. So if I go Harold, I go Harold showed off the bench. You go Kuzma at the four. So you can bring THT in at the three. They're 11. They're 11 deep with players that so can now, that could and should play in the finals. So hold on, hold on. So now I'm going Harold, Harold, Kuzma, THT, Caruso, Schroeder. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Boy, Anthony, I said Schroeder, Caruso, THT. Fucking. Wow. Harold and Kuzma. Wow. Yeah, That's three players good. right here in that lineup. Yeah, all under the age of the, 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 team, the team is all, ridiculously. The team is All have a great career. Or they've all averaged at least 18 points recently. And Kuzma, Harold, and Schroeder. Recent 18 points. Playing on championship teams. Knowing that they're not, you know, no, bro, there's no pressure on them now. Like the pressure of Kuzma trying to figure out how to be the big three. And, and, and the backlash he got off that social media. Now imagine Kuzma niggas just coming out here and he's just playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. I'm definitely excited to see how the Lakers play. I think they can come out with energy. Hey, come out. Think about I think they're going to come out with. Uh, Lack of basic nature too. So, like Deli, like Caruso, I always call him Deli Doe Horse Steroids. Yeah, it's, he can he can defend across the board. Yeah, two, he can. two, three, and like the way defense is measured in the NBA is it's not what you like. Avery Bradley, he does that right, but the reason why he's not, he don't have defensive impact, and the numbers don't reflect it when he's on the court is because. He don't have versatility. Yeah, he's just so, a ball dog. He's just a hawk on ball. Yeah. And I, I'm just going to scream. Yeah. <laughs> and his effectiveness on the play is gone. Mm -hmm. Whereas THT, I'm hounding on ball. Give me off. Scream. Now I'm in a passing lane. Seven mm -hmm. foot one wingspan. You know what I mean? Six yeah. four. Yeah. No, that's, that's, a great, that's a great point because a lot of people have made, um, you know, brought that up that they lost him. But, you know, he didn't play in the bubble and uh, they were just fine without him. So, yeah, let's just uh, we'll go ahead and leave it there on the Lakers. Uh, season starts today. I'm excited to watch them play. I'm about to hop yeah. on the clubhouse I'm about right to now. Break, break my diet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I'm about to uh, get on. Thanks for doing this with me. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave it here. I I'll like you later, bro. You want to do a different thing? Huh? You said what?